Well, these are the types of days that sort of just lure you in for what's to come. And it's our Jet Express cam that has really offered up the sunshine through the course of the afternoon. And it gives you a longing for those warmer summer days ahead. We've got a pair of them that will arrive just in time for the weekend. Upper 60s and low 70s, an outstanding feel. Lower humidity, the breeze is up a little bit. Maybe just uh, adventurous enough to crack the windows open or you're thinking that after dinner walk tonight should be a great opportunity to do that. Dry conditions tonight after some morning rain showers. It really brought most of the areas a tenth or two of an inch of rainfall or less. Nothing that was a significant and those showers very quickly rolled out of the area this morning and just like that close to midday, the clouds cleared out and we've been dealing with abundant sunshine through the afternoon. Tomorrow's still going to be a tricky day. Upper 50s for most areas south of Toledo, upper 60s to near 70. But it's this weekend that is really going to be shining bright and beautiful. Both days up into the lower 80s. And you may be thinking, boy, it's been quite some time since we've seen the 80s. In fact, meteorologist John Birchfield will tell us, John, we got to go back to the middle of fall. Before we saw 80s. Yeah, Chris, 80 degrees feels like a distant memory. We went all winter long with nowhere near these sorts of temperatures. And we do the math here. It's been 189 days since we had an 80 degree day. That was in the middle of October of 2021, a different calendar year. October 14th, we hit the 80 degree mark and we'll do it twice this weekend. 80 degrees is more characteristic of early June on June 4th. That is when our average high temperature reaches that 80 degree mark. So this week, Weekend. You can step outside and think in June, this is going to be our average weather that we'll get almost every single day, both Saturday and Sunday, featuring those high temperatures in the low 80s, which is a stark contrast from last weekend. Of course, Easter Sunday, nowhere near that 82 degree mark with a summer feel. We dropped down to 29 degrees in the Toledo Metro and folks across southern Michigan even had a hard freeze with temperatures dipping down below 26. Now it's hard to fathom going back to this sort of weather after enjoying those 80s. But Chris, the Midwest, stranger things have happened and we're going to cool off again after these 80s, right? We, we are, John, before I let you go, this could be the last day that you're with us before big weekend for you, the Mercy Health Glass mm -hmm. City Marathon. You're, you were a kid growing up in Sylvania. This has always been a dream come true for you to race in this event, hasn't it? Oh, absolutely. And it is going to be a little bit on the warm side, but we'll take the dry weather and 61 degrees. Just going to make the best of it and enjoy that. All right. Good luck to you, John. Thank and you. if you see John out on the course, <laughs> cheer him on. He's going for the full marathon. 61 degrees. It's going to be a warm start to the day on Sunday morning, and I do expect that it will be breezy by mid and midday right around the lower 70s as we go through late morning. So if you're running that full marathon or maybe taking uh, your time to the half, make sure you stay hydrated through the course of uh, Sunday morning. We're not used to the heat and humidity. This day uh, will be a warm one. It will stand out. Now we are going to be dry tonight with clear conditions. Great night for some stargazing. Clouds will increase tomorrow morning and so will the rain chance tomorrow afternoon and evening. We'll get some occasional rounds of rain showers. We may range from the upper 40s to low 50s near the lakeshore to close to 70 south of Toledo. So a tricky day tomorrow with how it's going to feel. But I will tell you all areas on Saturday will be bright and sunny with a huge warm up taking us into the low 80s. There's a Friday high in the Toledo Metro upper 50s will cool back late in the day as that lake breeze pushes in and the showers return back to back days though Saturday and Sunday in the lower 80s and it will be warm Sunday morning low 60s for that overnight low rain chances will return early next week really Sunday night into Monday morning mid 60s Monday and I do expect will turn cooler as we go into Tuesday Wednesday Thursday daytime highs low 50s and overnight lows. We're calling for a couple frosty mornings back into the low 30s. What what is the perfect recipe for fog? Are any of those mornings we're seeing next week? It, generally rain yeah. that clears out and then we see the clear skies that we call it radiational cooling mm -hmm. and it leads to foggy conditions. Very limited chances of fog next week. It could be a little patchy fog tomorrow morning, but I'm not expecting any widespread delays. Gotcha. Thanks, Chris.